Let us all rise for our call to worship. Psalm chapter 95 verse 6 Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Let us now sing song of praise to our wonderful God. God of grace, we open our hearts, minds, and souls to worship to you. Thank you that today we dwell in your kingdom and live in your presence. Thank you that as we gather together, we join with all Christians across the world to glorify your name. Come, be with us, inspire us, and lead us in our time together. We us all this in the beautiful name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The Bible invites us for a moment of confession. And God is saying today, Kids, let's come to God with our hearts open as we confess our sins before Him. Let us be assured by what the Word of God tells us. I'll be reading from Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and following. So as you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith. The Bible gives us the assurance that as we receive Jesus Christ, we are refreshed every day. We are given the forgiveness and be reconciled to God in Christ Jesus. Here is the Bible. Its words are true. God gave His words for me and you. Let us open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 to 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one? who has been born king of the Jews. He saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. This is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. If we were planning to go to visit someone in another town or city, we might first ask someone who knew how to get there to give us directions. They might give us some general directions and suggest the best roads to take. Another thing we should do is look at the map. 
The map will show us exactly how to get to where we want to go. As we travel, we should keep checking the map to be sure that we are headed in the right direction. If we follow the directions that we receive and use the map to guide us, we will surely find the way. After Jesus was born, some wise men, also called Magi, saw a star in the sky which they believe announced the birth of a king. They traveled to Jerusalem and began to ask, Where is the newborn king of Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. Herod heard about the Magi and their search for a king and he was deeply disturbed. He called the meeting of the priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? The priests told Herod that the prophet Micah had written that the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem. So Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men and said to them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. As you know, the wise men did not have a map to guide them to Bethlehem, but they had something better, even better. They had a star to guide them. So the wise men followed the information that the priests had given to Herod and the star that God had given to guide them, and it led them right to Jesus. When they found him, they gave him gifts and bowed down and worshipped him. Wise men, women, boys and girls are still searching for Jesus. There are people who want to help, people like pastors and Sunday school teachers. There is no map to help us to find Jesus and there is no star to follow. But we do have the Bible. We can find the way to Jesus by reading God's holy word. The Bible is the map and the star that will lead us to Jesus. All of us should read it every day to make sure we are headed in the right direction. Hi kids! So for our star verse today, let us open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 2b. And let's read it together. Again, Matthew chapter 2 verse 2b. We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. One more time. We saw his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2b. So before we go to our activity for today, let me ask you these questions from our story. First, what did the wise men see in the sky that announced the birth of a king? That's right, a star. Number two, who was the prophet that prophesied the birth of a king in Bethlehem? The prophet Micah. Good job. Number three, where did the wise men go? Or where did the wise men travel to? To Jerusalem. Number four. Who was the king of Jerusalem at that time? King Herod. Number five. To what place did the star lead the wise man to? To Bethlehem. Number six, what did the wise men do when they saw Jesus? They offered their gifts, bowed down, and worshipped him. So what lessons can we learn from the wise men? So for our activity for today, for our kids' time, I'm going to post another activity sheet on your screen, kids, and just follow the instructions on how to answer it. And let's see what lessons we can learn from the wise men. Yes, these lessons are for you and me.
answering our activity for today and maybe after you have filled in the blanks, you may color in the Bible, the crown, the gift, and the star. That it would also remind us that even though we don't have the star that we can follow today, we have the Bible to teach us and lead us to Jesus and also our pastors and Sunday school teachers. And let us also put to heart the lessons that the wise men taught us. Because this is what wise kids do too. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Let us now offer our gifts to God. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we seek you today because we want to worship you and crown you as our King. We are thankful for pastors and Sunday school teachers who want to help us and we are thankful for the Bible which have been given to lead us to you. Amen. Now receive the blessing of our loving Father in heaven and the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit that in Jesus Christ you will always be blessed and be a blessing. Amen and Amen.